This week on Blip on Blip, we talk to Jason Flowers, who's probably seen your web show, and we laugh historically. Hey guys, I'm Annie, and you're watching Blip on Blip. Kelly and I created the show to give you an inside look at what goes on behind the scenes right here at Blip.tv. This week in weather, Mother Nature, how are you going to play like that? It was all set to be spring, and then you got super, super cold. How dare you? Anyway, this week I took time to sit down with Jason Flowers, who is on our content team and watches a lot, a lot of web shows. I'm sitting here with Jason Flowers, our content operations associate. What's up, Jason? What is up, Annie? Oh, you know, just interviewing. This is fun already. <laughs> it's off to a good start. Can you explain to us what a content operations associate is? Um, it is probably the most important job in the company. That's what I was told <laughs> when I interviewed. Uh, no, basically on any, uh, any given day, I'm sort of the first gatekeeper of shows. Uh, when a show applies for any of our various distribution platforms, mm -hmm. they come through a system we have set up and I basically watch as many shows as I possibly can and yes. uh, make sure that they are you know, good quality shows and if, uh, if they are, we try to help promote them and push them forward uh, through the Blip system. So I do know that you uh, work, or outside of Blip, you also work as a comedy writer. Yes. Or you pursue comedy writing at the very least. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, yeah, I am a writer and improviser at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater here in New York City. Mm -hmm. I'm on a house mod team. Love UCB, uh, we, yes. Yeah, UCB. We put on a monthly sketch show, mm -hmm. uh, once a month, sort of SNL style. Mm -hmm. uh, a team of six writers and actors work together to put on the best show you possibly could ever do. <laughs> and I also recently created um, my own show there with uh, my good friend Dan Chamberlain called Cool Show for Team Girls, mm -hmm. sort of a Friday night bit show. And through the use of social media, mm. like Twitter and Tumblr, we were able to get NSYNC's Chris Kirkpatrick Whoa. to come on to the show. That and is old school. <laughs> they flew himself in from Orlando and like acted in a sketch. And it was just a crazy fun time. So we'll be doing another one of those shows this summer. What is your favorite thing about working for Blip and or specifically on the content team, which is the best team? All right. Um, <laughs> honestly, the best thing and it has I love everything about Blip. I love what we're doing. Um, I love the people that work here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the place like we work in New York City. It's great. The best thing is that we don't have to wear a tie every day. <laughs> yes, that is absolutely the coolest thing about this job. Uh, my last job was very stiff and stifling and worked in an office with a bunch of old ladies and had to wear a tie and that's no good. Yeah, now so. you have to sit next to Aaron every day. Yeah, that is. <laughs> an occupational hazard in itself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do you wanna play a game? Oh, yeah, you got games? Uh, do you, we're association. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Jupiter. Mars. What? Oh, jeez, I'm worse at this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Jason, for taking the time. This is an awesome interview. This was very, very, very fun, so thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a bunch of great shows here at Blip.tv, and each week we like to highlight one that the whole office can't stop watching. This week, I want to talk about laughing historically. Each week, Brandon and Evan dig up juicy facts about the dead guys you read about in your history books. They recall anecdotes like Poe parading around naked and the hungover signing of the Declaration of Independence. If you'd like to check out all the episodes, head on over to laughinghistorically.blip.tv. That's it for this week on Blip on Blip. You can catch us next week and every Tuesday after that right here at the blog, 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. Have a good one, guys. We'll see you next week.